Well, as the corona pandemic progresses and the weeks go by, life continues to change and develop for us. Instead of being totally locked down, some new freedoms are emerging. We're able to meet small <coughs> groups of family and friends outside. We're able to go to work if we can't work from home. Our schools and nurseries are opening up, including our local schools, Onslow Infants, Queen Eleanor's and the Montessori Nursery in our very own church hall. The new freedoms remind us that we need to consider each other's overall well-being, our relationships, our mental health, our emotional welfare, alongside staying well physically through the pandemic. <clears throat> so what does well-being mean for each, each of us in the broadest sense of the term? What does it mean to be well and to live well? Well, yesterday I attended a clergy study day on that subject, the subject of well-being. What does it mean for clergy and what does it mean for the congregations and communities that we serve? Well, we took as our framework for the day the rule of St Benedict. If you've not read it, it's well worth a read. Benedict was writing in the 6th century, writing a rule of life for the monastic community that had gathered around him at Monte Cassino in Italy. And his work became a model for all of Western monasticism and is really a guide for living the Christian life well, for well-being. And there are four, uh, five uh, core elements of Benedict's rule, prayer, work, study, hospitality and rest. Benedict's monks lived an eightfold rhythm of prayer, the first one. Uh, they met eight times a day for matins, lords, prime, ter, sext, non, vespers and compline at roughly three hour intervals. And in between prayer there was work. Work was mainly manual for monks, tending the land and grow growing food for the community. Built into this framework too was study reading the scriptures, but also the writings of the church fathers and early theologians. Hospitality, number four, was important too, welcoming anyone who came to the monastery, freely giving food and shelter. And then finally, rest. Times of recreation and refreshment were built into the framework. They were as important as prayer or work or study or hospitality. Well, Benedict's rule has stood the test of time and is still the basis for most monastic rules of life today. And I think that's because there's a wisdom in Benedict's writing that remains hu hugely valuable for our times. We too need a rhythm of prayer uh, that both individually and as a community, which undergirds our lives and the well-being of those we love. We too need work, whether that's voluntary or paid. And those who've been furloughed over the past couple of months will know the importance of that. We need to study, to read, to explore, to investigate, to keep our imaginations alive, to learn from those who've lived well in the past and have wisdom for the present. We need to be hospitable, to share our lives with others <clears throat> and the challenges of self-isolation have made that increasingly apparent. We're meant to live together, to share our lives with others and I long for the day when our church will be open again and we can see each other face to face. And finally we need times of rest, times for recreation, for renewal, for restoration. That's not easy at this time when we can't go away, we can't go on holiday. But there are other ways to rest. I know many of us have been tending our gardens, improving our cooking, knitting, reading, watching films. Rest needs to be built into our lives too, as an important element, a Sabbath principle that we adhere to, whatever competes, whatever else competes for our attention. And so today I uh, encourage you to consider those five aspects 
of Benedict's rule of life, prayer, work, study, hospitality and rest. You may like to write your own personal rule of life as a guide for living well both in the present and for the future. And I pray that as you prayerfully explore this theme of living well, you'll find health of body, mind and spirit for yourself and also for those you love.